Imagine this, you're at the controls of a helicopter about to lift off, the rotors are spinning, the engine hums steadily, and everything feels under control. Everything seems fine, but as you start to ascend, the helicopter suddenly tilts to one side. It feels like a small imbalance at first but it quickly escalates, before you can react it rolls over completely crashing onto the ground. This happens in mere seconds leaving no time to correct the situation. This terrifying scenario is known as dynamic rollover, a phenomenon that can catch even experienced pilots off guard. It's a danger every helicopter pilot needs to understand, not just in theory but in practice. Training and awareness are key to avoiding it. Dynamic rollover doesn't happen in the air, but on the ground during takeoff or landing. Uneven terrain or improper control inputs can trigger it. It's a rapid, uncontrolled rolling motion that can occur when a helicopter's weight shifts too far to one side, overwhelming its ability to stay upright. This shift can be caused by external factors or pilot error. Think of it like balancing a broomstick on your fingertip. The balance is delicate and requires constant adjustment. If the broomstick leans too far, it falls over. The same principle applies to helicopters but the consequences are far more severe. Similarly, if a helicopter tilts beyond a certain point, it can roll. This critical angle is something every pilot must be aware of. Understanding the forces at play and knowing how to prevent dynamic rollover is crucial for any pilot. It requires both theoretical knowledge and hands-on practice. This isn't just about theoretical physics, it's about saving lives. Proper training can make the difference between a safe flight and a disaster. By understanding this phenomenon and learning how to react, we can make the skies safer for everyone. Every pilot has a role to play in ensuring safety, both for themselves and their passengers. To fully grasp dynamic rollover, we must delve into the fundamental principles that govern this phenomenon. These principles revolve around three critical elements, the pivot point, the rolling moment, and the critical rollover angle each playing a vital role in understanding how and why a helicopter might tip over. Let's begin with the pivot point, the foundation of this concept. Imagine a seesaw at the playground, a simple yet effective analogy. The middle point where the seesaw balances is its pivot point, the axis around which it rotates. For a helicopter, this pivot point is the landing skid or wheel in contact with the ground, serving as the axis for potential rotation. The helicopter naturally wants to rotate around this point when forces act upon it. Now think about pushing down on one side of the seesaw. This action creates a rolling moment. A rolling moment is essentially a force that causes rotation around the pivot point, tilting the object. In helicopters, rolling moments can be caused by various factors, such as external forces or pilot inputs. For instance, Wind pushing against the side of the helicopter can generate a rolling moment. Similarly, a pilot's control input, whether intentional or accidental, can also create this force. Even the terrain plays a role. Uneven or sloped ground beneath the skids can lead to a rolling moment. Finally, we arrive at the critical rollover angle, a crucial threshold in this dynamic. This angle represents the point of no return, where the helicopter's tilt becomes irreversible. Once the helicopter surpasses this angle, the rolling moment overwhelms any counteracting forces, leading to a rollover. To visualize this, think of a ladder leaning against a wall. If the angle between the ladder and the wall becomes too steep, the ladder will inevitably fall, much like a helicopter exceeding its critical angle. Dynamic rollover rarely happens in isolation. It's not usually caused by a single factor but rather a combination of circumstances. These elements can align to create what we often call the perfect storm for disaster. Let's break down some of the most common culprits that contribute to this dangerous phenomenon. Ground contact. Uneven terrain, soft ground or even a small obstacle can act like a pivot point, making it easier for the helicopter to tilt dangerously. Imagine landing on a patch of soft grass. The ground may look stable, but it can be deceiving. One skid might sink slightly, creating an imbalance. This tilt increases the risk of a rollover, especially if the pilot doesn't react quickly. Sloping ground. Taking off or landing on a slope is like trying to balance a broomstick on a tilted table. It's much harder than it looks. The slope creates a natural rolling moment, pushing the helicopter downhill. This can quickly spiral out of control if not managed properly. External forces. A sudden gust of wind can act like an invisible hand, pushing the helicopter sideways and increasing the rolling moment. 
Even a strong, steady wind requires constant, careful control inputs to counteract its force. Without these adjustments, the helicopter can quickly become unstable. Lateral CG offset. The CG, or center of gravity, is the balancing point of the helicopter. It's critical to keep it within safe limits. If the CG is off-center, perhaps due to uneven weight distribution or improper loading, it can make the helicopter more susceptible to rolling. It's just like an unbalanced load on a seesaw. The more uneven the weight, the harder it is to maintain stability. The best way to deal with dynamic rollover is to prevent it from happening in the first place. This starts with a thorough pre-flight check weight and balance. Always ensure the helicopter is loaded within its limits and the weight is distributed evenly. Think of it like packing a suitcase, you want it balanced so it doesn't topple over. Terrain Assessment Carefully inspect your landing area, look for level ground, avoid soft spots, and be wary of obstacles that could catch a skid. Remember, even a slight incline can increase the risk of rollover. Weather Check Wind is a major factor in dynamic rollover. Always check wind speed and direction before takeoff and landing. If the wind is strong or gusty, consider delaying your flight or finding a more sheltered location. Know your limits. Every helicopter has a critical rollover angle. Familiarize yourself with your aircraft's limits and understand how different factors such as weight and wind can affect them. Staying safe in the air requires mastering hover control and being mindful of slope awareness. Once you're in the air, maintaining precise control is absolutely vital to prevent dynamic rollover. Let's break it down into two key aspects to focus on. First, hover control. Mastering a stable hover is crucial. You should practice maintaining a steady hover in various wind conditions. This not only builds your skills but also sharpens your reflexes, preparing you to react quickly if the helicopter starts to tilt. It's all about staying ahead of the situation. Next is slope awareness. If you ever need to land on a slope, always approach it from uphill. This gives you more clearance for the tail rotor and helps you maintain a level attitude as you touch down. Remember, landing downhill can be risky. It increases the chance of the helicopter tipping forward. Always keep that in mind. Even with the best preparation, there's always a chance things could go wrong. If you feel the helicopter starting to tilt beyond its critical angle, you need to act fast. Your first instinct should be to reduce the collective immediately. Lowering the collective pitch reduces engine power and the lift generated by the rotor blades. This action will cause the helicopter to settle back onto the ground. At the same time, maintain cyclic control. While lowering the collective, try to keep the helicopter as level as possible using the cyclic control stick. Now I know this might seem counterintuitive, but it's really important to prevent the helicopter from tilting even further. Once the helicopter is safely back on the ground, take a moment to stay calm and assess the situation. What caused the tilt? Can you safely take off again, or do you need to shut down and reassess? These are critical questions to answer before proceeding. Preventing dynamic rollover isn't just about knowing what to do, it's about developing the muscle memory to react instinctively in a high-pressure situation. And well, this is where regular training and simulations become invaluable. Flight simulators offer a safe and controlled environment to practice dealing with dynamic rollover scenarios. These simulations let you experience the forces and reactions involved without any real-world risk. And don't forget, practice makes permanent, regularly practice hovering and landing in various wind conditions and on different terrains. The more you fly, the more intuitive your reactions will become. After each flight, take time to debrief and learn. Review what went well and what could have been improved. This self-analysis is so important, it helps you learn from your experiences and become a safer, more confident pilot. This essay provides a basic understanding of dynamic rollover, but honestly, it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to learn, and here are some great resources to get you started. Your local flight school is an excellent resource for hands-on training and information. They can provide personalized guidance and help you build your skills. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, offers numerous publications and resources on helicopter safety, including detailed information on dynamic rollover. These are incredibly valuable tools for pilots, and don't overlook online forums and communities. Connecting with other pilots online is a great way to share experiences, ask questions, and stay updated on the latest safety information. 
Dynamic rollover is a serious hazard in helicopter operations, but with awareness, training, and careful piloting, it can absolutely be prevented. Let's recap some key takeaways. First, understand the dynamics. Know the factors that contribute to dynamic rollover, including ground conditions, wind, and weight distribution. Second, pre-flight is crucial. Conduct thorough pre-flight checks, including weight and balance calculations, terrain assessment, and weather analysis. Third, practice makes perfect. Master hover control. Practice landing on different slopes, and utilize flight simulators to hone your skills. Finally, react quickly and calmly. If a rollover situation arises, lower the collective immediately, maintain cyclic control, and assess the situation once the helicopter is stable. By staying vigilant and committed to safety, we can all contribute to making the skies a safer place for everyone. Fly safe, fly smart.